Hello YouTube, Hester781 here, and today I'm going to try to put a picture in. But if I can't figure out how to do that, I um, got a message from a good friend of mine. It says, hey bud, I need your help. <laughs> he said, I uh, got a little too close to the stairs when mowing the lawn. And now, the blade don't engage. I said, oh, no problem. Just uh, you know, deck engagement cable, very easy. Well, driving it up this ramp here, I got to the very top and I almost fell right off the ramp. I should have guessed. <laughs> he bent this blade seven ways to Sunday. Ugh. So that'll be today's how to replace a deck engagement cable and a set of blades. I tell you, so many of these, uh, I actually fixed so many of these AYP style machines that I made my own special hitch for picking them up. All it is is a length of chain with two hooks from an old bungee cord cinched over so they can't come off. And I go right through, sorry, backwards. One through that way and one through that way. If you guys do not have a winch mounted on your ceiling, why are you waiting? Take the brake off. First thing I'm going to do is disconnect that pin, the one on the other side, and then pop the belt off. <clears throat> Just because I want the front of the deck to be down and the rest of the mower to be up. Like that. And once you got those disconnected and the belt off, you're gonna have another clip here that you do not need to touch. The one you want to touch is right here. Come on, a little rusty. That's it. And then this bar will pull forward. And then there's one right here. It's hard to get you guys in so you can see. Pull that clip and then the opposite right over there. There's not gonna be another one over here. I'll show you what that looks like. And if you're doing this on the ground, you should just be able to slide this out either that way or this way after you detach the cable, which is right there. One quick clip, another quick clip, and then it's just a washer under that spring. Just like this. It's gonna be the thinnest of all your clips. See how some of them are gonna be thick, thin one for the cable. There is this little tiny plastic washer that's gonna go on the outside. So it goes in, plastic washer, then clip. A lot of people will screw that up and it doesn't work the other way. So then you pull this clip, get you turned around, washer, and then the spring. Cable is now off. Deck is now free. And yes, this is horrendously filthy. That cable's gonna come up through this zip tie. It's just a regular zip tie. If you wanna cut it, cut it. If you don't, try to feed it through gently. And just follow where it goes, straight up. It's actually gonna come right through here. Oops, sorry.
and I'll show you exactly where afterwards, but it goes on the other end of the lever, which you'll need to remove the gas tank. But let's start down here first. Oh, I'm telling you, I clean, I clean the deck every time I use it. Liar. Dirty, rotten, no good, liar. Also, before I, hang, before I uh, end this thought, um, some of you have gotten angry with me in the comments and have said, oh, you know, you're, you're getting paid to do this. Don't talk bad about your customers. First of all, I am not getting paid. I am doing this as a hobby and for favors for uh, friends of mine, just because I have, you know, the table and I'm a tinkerer. Um, and they are not random people. They are my friends and family. And I will talk about them however I damn well please until they start taking care of their stuff. Because if I don't talk mean to them, they'll just continue to do this and I'll have to continue to fix it. I shouldn't say have to. I'm a nice guy. See? I'm a nice guy. I just said so myself. Now you know. Anyway. So don't get all bent out of shape. I'm not bad-mouthing random people. I'm bad-mouthing friends and family. And here's the other part of cleaning your deck. you got to keep up with the underside as well. Look at this stuff. That's just solid grass. I mean, there you go. This is what rots out the deck, people. In all honesty, it's mostly satire. You know, I'm just breaking balls to break balls. I do want, I do want them to keep the stuff clean because I mean, it makes it easier for me, and it makes their stuff last longer. You're not buying them all every three years. I mean, that's all it takes. This stuff would not wash off. Look at how thick, right? It's not going to wash off. And it's just going to sit there, hold moisture, and rust the deck out in no time flat. So it's just good for good for everybody to just keep it keep it clean and obviously changing the blades couldn't be simpler 9 16 bolt comes right out and then you're gonna hold it up to your new blades these happen to be nice and shiny green and just make sure that they they line up <clears throat> they're gonna be within a hair let me get the bottom they're going to be within a hair, usually like that. Some will be an eighth of an inch longer, some will be shorter, but he bought these. So this is what goes on. Luckily, they label these too. Grass side. Oh, they don't label the other side. Line it up on the star. And then a little bit of never sees. Goes a long way. It's like I always say, the next guy taking it off is going to be you. Excellent. Now, this next part's a good tip. Even if you didn't absolutely nail your uh, stairs, once you got the new blades on, take the two flats and just look at them. See how that's nice and level? Spin it around check it again it just lets you know whether your deck might have gotten bent during impact which does happen and uh this is actually luckily fine now some of you are looking at that gap and they're thinking that's going to leave some uncut grass but you're not thinking fourth dimensionally the deck actually mounts like this it's off center 
so that it's going to catch the front end there and the back end there. Craftsman worked it out, so they know what they're doing. Next part of the cable couldn't be simpler. You're gonna take off your fuel tank, just two 3 8 bolts. two washers and then the whole thing is just going to lift out and tuck it right out of the way. All right this next part is going to be tricky to get you guys in there but what I'm going to use is this cable disconnect tool made by BSS Small Engines. I've been using this thing a lot it's fantastic. So here is your cable just passing through a hole right down oop, you're getting all washed out right down in that corner and then back here is where you're going to disconnect it the cable's already broken off i don't know if i can do this with you guys in the middle uh, you get the idea. You just gotta squeeze those two tabs and it'll pull straight out from the bottom. All right, so the cable is free. <clears throat> so now you just feed it straight down. Bring you guys so you can see it live. See, it? remember how we saw it right through here? It's, it's that black one. And it comes out right there. Then go straight to the zip tie to the deck. Easy peasy. And now we're just going to take a minute, match up the old one with the new one, just so we don't uh, get ourselves frustrated for no reason. And I don't know if you can see, but that looks perfect. This end, we got the two. Flat clips, we got the cable, springs, and keep it, keep it tight in your hand so you can see exactly how long, and bam, we got the end, and this is the part that has already snapped off. Installation is reverse of removal. All right, I got the new cable fed up. Now the one change I did make is I'm gonna go through this hole with it. I just feel like it lines up so much nicer and it doesn't sit on the outside here where it can chafe or get rubbed too badly by the uh, adjustment bar. And now the last bit is to get this little tiny clip off. Yeah, which it's just stuck on there. So you should be able to push it there find out wherever that went and the new clip see how it's got that opening right there it's just gonna sit right on this ball put the blade engagement lever up out of your way while you feed the new cable into its hole and now that the cable's locked in place, take your clip, make sure you're on the proper. <sighs> Try doing it with one handed. Outside of the lever, and you'll feel it clip in, just like that. So now that's not going anywhere. The cable, <clears throat> don't worry about the slack. As soon as we pull that spring, Cable's gonna come resting down where it belongs. All right, back on the other side. And I've sort of zoomed in just so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. So I'm gonna pass this through here, keeping that plastic bit on the outside. And then we're gonna sandwich the plastic in between. Yeah. The quick pin done that's done next bit couldn't be easier spring 
on there. Does not matter if it goes that way or that way. And then washer on and then pin through. Done. Now you see, I'm not gonna pull it all the way, but what I'm doing is actuating the lever, which is gonna pull that straight back. All right, let's get this deck hooked up. And if everything's hooked up properly, you should be able to raise and lower the deck with no issues. And when you go to engage, you should feel a little resistance. And when you have it in the engaged locked position, belt should be nice and tight, which it is. All right, let's fire it up, see if it works. Let's see what we get. Victory. Well, that wraps up this one, folks. I was even a nice guy and put a little black spray paint on the edge of the deck where he nailed the stairs. Just, you know, no one needs that kind of negative constant reminder every time they get on their mower. All right. Well, that's it. How to uh, put a blade engagement cable on a Craftsman LT2000. I want to thank you all again for liking, watching, commenting, subscribing. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.